Hi everybody, welcome back again. It's great to see you for another Messy Church Challenge. Today we're gonna have a go at making an origami jumping frog. So you've gotta be watching carefully today. What you need to do is you need to start off with a piece of square paper. Okay, first of all, you've got your paper in front of you. If you turn over the left-hand side to fold exactly in half, and then you fold the top corner down so that you've got a nice straight line down the one side. And then open it up again, and then do the same the other way. That's it. And then if you just turn the paper over, and then you've got to put a fold going backwards so that the, the middle is meeting in the cross of those two pieces going across there, those two folds that you've just done. So you've got a fold going across the middle of those. Like that. And then open them back up in the middle. Okay, now this is a slightly tricky bit. You've got to fold these two bits forwards, nice and slowly like that, so they just fold forwards. And when you get them down to the middle there, press it all down so that you get a nice triangle at the front and just make sure they all go into place. Okay, now we're making the front feet for the frog, so they just fold forward like this on both sides, just fold them forwards. So you've got your front legs. Right, now what you need to do is for this rectangle at the back, you need to fold that forwards so it just touches behind the body. And keep the folds nice and tight, that's good. And then you've got to fold each side of the frog in. So, so that it meets the center line. Just fold it in there, tuck it in behind where the legs are. Just so it meets the middle there. And fold that one in nice and tight as well. And then the same on the other side. Okay, now you need to fold this back up so that it just touches the bottom of where the front legs are. So fold that back up again in half so that it just meets the back legs. Like that. And then make another triangle out of this. So again, fold both sides down to make a nice little triangle. And then that last bit, you just need to open them up again. That last bit there. And you've got to fold these back legs outwards. So this, is, this bit's a little bit awkward. So where, where the point of the paper is, that's the edge of his leg. So you need to pull that one out so that that's flat. And then just push him down on both sides so that they pull out on both sides. Pull them out and then fold those down nice and tight like that. So those are gonna be the back legs, and just to make them proper back legs, you just bring them down as well, and fold them at the back there. Okay, so that's gonna be the back legs. But now, because we want it to be jumping, that could be your frog already, you see. But because we want to make it a jumping frog, we've gotta try and give a little bit of a fold in the back there so that we can make it jump. So to do that, you keep that one down, fold this, keep the front legs there forwards, fold this all the way up over the body, like that, and then fold the back legs back again, exactly in half. It gets a bit stiff at this point, because you've got quite a lot of paper there to fold. And then when you put them over, you see you've got a little bit of a fold in the back. And then watch this. You pull, pull that back there and let go. And then you've got your jumping frog. We hope that you have a good week. We pray that you'll be blessed this week and we look forward to seeing you next week. And in the meantime, here's another Where's the Wally?